you want to buy a World War I replica airplane, well, fortune has found you. There's a company called Aerodrome Airplanes that sell World War I airplane kits. Okay, but which ones? Well, all of them. Not really, but most. Their current catalog offers 20 unique airplanes. Many come in either a three-quarter or full-scale, making 31 different kit options. All but three are single-seaters. The Sopwith Baby, Tabloid, and Schneider are two-place. All of the two-place are side-by-side. -side. The build process is simple as far as kit plane building goes. There's also a unique build assist program where you go to the factory and some technicians there spend the day with you, starting you on your airplane. They teach you the build process and design philosophy and get you to the point where you're ready to go it alone. You can stay as long as you like, though at the time of this video it does cost $750 per day. Now, have I personally ruined $750 worth of parts building a kit plane? Yes. Could it have been avoided by skipping some of the trial and error process? Mm, possibly. Did I actually ruin a lot more than $750 worth of parts? I don't want to talk about it. Performance varies between models, but not that much. The small planes primarily use a Rotex 503 or 582. The full-scale planes lead toward radials like Werner or four-cylinder Lycomings, each of which are significantly lighter than the engines in the original planes, which works out well because their pilots were significantly lighter too. Mm -hmm. Thankfully, only the looks were kept when it comes to the design. It's all modern materials and build practices under the sheets. Buzzing around like Snoopy and the Red Baron sounds like a lot of fun, yeah? Yes, of course, but it gets better. These planes are shockingly inexpensive. It's really something. I know I've made a typo or two before, but this isn't one. The savings don't stop when it's built. While it looks super cool, they are very simple airplanes. Once you get the hang of all the wires and whatnot, and if you build one, I hope you do get the hang of it, they're really simple machines. Maintenance is straightforward. A hanger is a must for an open cockpit fabric airplane. Experimental and tail wheel are swear words to insurance brokers, but fixed gear helps and so does no passengers. Owning a single seat airplane is an interesting endeavor. There's no denying the joy of taking someone flying. Anyone who's had the privilege to do so will tell you it's pure magic. Though, owning a single seater is a special relationship. It's like an imaginary friend you had as a kid. You go on adventures together, you see and experience things that nobody will ever know, including how close you flew to that cloud flying VFR. You enjoy and sometimes battle mother nature. You never coordinate personal schedules. You leave the ground and everything else with it. Add to all that an open cockpit World War I plane with a possible significant connection to an ancestor or countryman who flew the original. Now that's poetry. Aerodrome airplane replicas. Thanks for watching. See you in the next.